All right, guys, this evening I thought I'd do something different. Um, I'm calling it the Hanging Hunt Challenge, and I'm going to attempt to hang a stand and hunt from it tonight and hopefully kill something from it. And so uh, the only deal is, the only extra deal is, I came in here to get my um, stand that, that Bradley's hunted a few times from 4B Outdoor, bow hunting and outdoors, um, that I hung in tree on our lease. and. I came to get it the other day, but I had forgotten my harness at home, and I will not break my own rule, and so I did not climb the uh, the ladder without my harness and a hunter safety system rope. And so I'm back today with my harness. I'm going to grab this real quick, and then I've got to go to another property. I'm going to try to hang the hand. I'm going to try to hang the stand, and then I'm going to try to hunt it and see if I can't kill a pig or maybe a doe, but probably a pig. So, we'll see. If you're thinking to yourself, that was really simple. It's because I have a Millennium MU100 or M100U uh, tree stand, and you leave the receptacle hanging in the tree, and then all you do when you pull up the stand is you drop this down in that receptacle, push this pin through, and it's locked on. You push the seat, I mean the uh, foot platform down, locks everything in snug and tight. I left my tree steps and my hunter safety system in this tree uh, because I want to be able to bring this stand back and hunt it whenever I want to. In fact, I bumped a deer on my way in here. I think it was a doe maybe. Um, and I'm going to try to get my camera arm where it is rigged up into one of these holes so that it stays on this uh, stand. We'll see, that, that's a project for another day. But I'm gonna go and get some stuff done and then we'll go try to hang the stand and kill something out of it. I literally sat down up here and the feeder spun down. There's a feeder over here to my right that I can't see. If animals get to that feeder, I will not have a shot at them. That's not why I'm here. I'm here because every time I've hunted this stand with a rifle from 100 yards that way, the pigs have come right through here to get to that feeder. And so what I have done, hold on just a second, I'll show you. them coming in to that feeder by getting them stopped at that corn and hopefully getting a shot on a big pig.
I don't really know what happened there. Um, <clears throat> I was at full draw a long time and should have let down. My peep had rotated and I couldn't see through it clearly, but I really thought I was lined up on her shoulder. Um, there were a couple of really, really small limbs that I had to kind of shoot around. I don't know if I nicked one of those and it sent the arrow flying down. This is what I can tell you. She was at 10 yards. Um, and that is not a shot I should have missed. Well, as y'all saw, that was nuts. Um, that group of pigs came into that corn just like I thought they would. And, man, I, I'm going to have to look at the footage when I get home because I don't know if I hit a branch on the way to her or what, but I, I completely missed her. There's no blood on my arrow. And that was only about a 15-yard shot. Man, I just, I mean, I'm not like a professional archer or anything, but I can stick a 15-yard shot right where it needs to go. So I need to watch that footage when I get home. Then you saw they came back, and I stuck one here, and just kind of watched her lay down. I thought she was going to die, honestly, and I um, started looking other places. And so when I got over here, she's actually drug herself off somewhere. I don't think she's going to be very far, and I'm going to try to find her. And uh, when I find her, I'm going to finish her off. So. Haven't been that long. It's only been about 15 minutes since I shot her, so let's see. This right here is the reason I stopped using Grim Reapers. I, I can't even tell if it opened. Now, they'll say it did, you know, and it closed and hit the ground or whatever, but it's just not good. I'd much rather just have a slick trick. Let's see. Well, guys, uh, I made a big mistake and something that I know, uh, but it's the first time I've had trouble finding an am animal while filming. Um, I just let it slip and it, it bit me. And that is, when in doubt, back out. Um, I was trailing pretty good blood for a while. And mind you, this hog is dragging herself by her front legs. I broke her down. She's, she's gonna die. And I caught up with her and I could hear her, and by the time I got to where the sound was coming from, she crawled up in some of the thickest stuff I've ever seen. I could not get in there. Um, and so she's going to die. She's going to die up in there, and I'm not going to be able to retrieve her. And that's a shame. Um, I think that every animal, no matter how pesky, deserves a, a clean, quick death. And so it was a mistake. You know, part of me doesn't even want to put this video on YouTube. Um, but another part of me knows it's a part of bow hunting and every time it happens it's a gut check and um, you hate it <clears throat> and you learn from it and you try not to let it happen again uh, it's been a long time since I've not recovered an animal um, I do not like mechanical broadheads um, some of my friends are shooting the new slick trick raptor tricks and I've been kinda wanting to try them but um, I can tell you the Slick Trick Magnums work splendidly and I'm not sure if I'm going to go back to a mechanical. Um, I just find that a fixed blade cut on contact head that you can keep sharp blades in is the ticket especially with, with pigs and I like a heavy arrow with a lot of weight up front so that it penetrates. Um, that's just what I've learned. I lost a lot of pigs when I first started bow hunting and it's not fun I can tell you. Um, so, so I'm going to be bummed for a couple of days. Uh, I hate when they get away like that. I'd love to be able to show you some pics. I'd love to be able to get some meat. It's the time of year I like to keep a lot of the meat. So it's, uh, it's a tough one for sure. And I hate to end the video this way. 
but it happens. I mean, it happens. I I put in a lot of time practicing. Um, I don't want to wound an animal, but you just sometimes there are things that are beyond your control, and um, tonight one of those happened. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.